Yeah, meet Roger. Yeah, she's uh, yeah, not all that old. I kind of get a kick out of that. Here, let's flip her around. Yeah. Yo, made in uh, America. In fact, made in uh, Iowa. You know, pretty heavy steel. And, uh, well, I'll show you that sticker. How that came to be, that's about half of what they're paying for them now. How that came to be, is, uh, for many years I had a neighbor, and he took, he had a lot of willow trees. Eh, anyhow. I'll get off that since it doesn't want to focus. But uh, he had a lot of, not willow, he had a lot of maple trees, pretty maple trees. And he uh, took pretty good care of the place. Well, he outlived two wives and, and his one son passed away in a uh, motorcycle accident. He was here all the years we were here. And uh, until two years ago, but uh, towards the end, he couldn't rake his lawn anymore, so I used to go over. I, I made a story up that I was raking his lawn because somebody could use the leaves. I, I told them they were bedding chickens with them, which we never bedded chickens, but we used to rake up leaves on the farm and throw them in for the hogs and throw them in for the calves, and it would go out in the spring with the manure. Uh, anyhow, so I'd go over there and rake, and he was on a walker, and he would come out and sit on the lawn chair and talk to me. And I'd known the guy for years. And, uh, but I had never heard that story before. He had been on, he had served on a minesweeper a ship. He was in the Navy, served on a minesweeper. And that's the first time I ever, ever heard uh, that. And he told me that minesweepers at the time in the 40s and 50s were built out of wood, so they wanted to track a magnetic ma a mine. I actually really had a good time, you know, going over to volunteer to help a, help a neighbor. But uh, at any rate, he passed away, and his granddaughter had a uh, had a estate sale, and I waited till the very end. You know, I I just don't. If you know the person, it's kind of hard for me to show up, and I feel like I'm picking at the bones. And I showed up just as they were getting ready to close down, and this was still laying there. And she, uh, she, uh, I asked her what she'd take for that. It was barely used, still barely used. I've only had it a couple years, but uh, still barely used. But uh, she, uh, she shot me a price, and I didn't blink an eye. I just paid her her price, and it still, like I say, cheaper than the thirty-nine ninety-nine. By the way, that was sold originally at a local farm store here in town. Uh, Runnings, they're kind of, they're, they're in Minnesota, North Dakota, South, uh, I'm not sure about South Dakota, but they're also in uh, upstate New York and, and New Hampshire. Uh, they started about 70, their original store was about 70 miles from here. But I call it Roger just because I remember him when I use it. And, it's perfect for this kind of crap. We had wet snow again last night, nothing too serious. But you, you want to take that up, you don't want to walk it down to where it gets packed and turns to ice underneath. Besides, we are supposed to have sun today and we're supposed to be in the 20s, so that should be enough to uh, melt off the top. The sun will take the top off here, but anyhow, that's kind of, I guess I'll call it quits there. I just, uh, I call it Roger. <laughs> Well, thank you.